everyone, it's Victoria with Nutrition by Victoria back for another video. I said in my video yesterday that I was going to talk about glucose's role in inflammation and uh, explain that whole biochemical process. So uh, I actually wanted to approach it from the standpoint of antioxidant, glucose as an antioxidant. Now an antioxidant, everybody's familiar with, they're healthy, and it's because they're able to neutralize oxidative species within our cells. And these oxidative species um, cause damage to our body. So we want to be able to neutralize those, that oxidation in order to stay healthy, young, and have the best uh, chance at reducing our aging potential. <laughs> okay, so I want to show you guys the pentose phosphate pathway, which is a major biochemical uh, antioxidant defense mechanism pathway that um, our body uses to quench these oxidative species. So you'll notice <laughs> at the start of this pathway is glucose. Um, it shows it fueling glycolysis, which is what we just learned is the uh, primary pathway for energy production in the human body. And it also fuels this pentose phosphate pathway, which pro and the glucose provides the reducing agents, which is the hydrox hydrogen ions and electrons that enable this reaction mommy, to have its reducing power. So mommy, mommy. the reactions that you'll see here are B vitamins being reduced and ultimately passing that reducing power onto the major antioxidant um, that circulates within our cells, glutathione. This antioxidant, which is fueled by glucose, um, it will, it allows hydrogen uh, peroxide to be reduced to water, uh, lipid peroxides to be reduced to hydroxy fatty acids. So what it's doing is it's making things safer in our body. It's taking these compounds that are actually toxic and making them safer. It neutralizes. Um, and it also feeds into uh, the other well-known antioxidants like vitamin C, it helps to recycle vitamin C, and it also helps to, uh, the vi recycled vitamin C helps um, to reduce vitamin E, which ultimately um, helps to provide uh, cell membrane protection. So all of this, <laughs> All the antioxidant power that comes from micronutrients starts with glucose. We have to have enough glucose in our cells in order to have the maximum antioxidant potential within our system. And again, this is going to make it so that we don't age as fast. A lot of people relate carbohydrate foods to being aging because of glycation or advanced glycated end products, meaning that when they break down in our system, they have these AGEs floating around that uh, create damage within the system when it's the complete opposite. If you actually look at glycation or AGE charts, foods that are highest in carbohydrates, for example, corn syrup actually has a zero in terms of AGEs. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and take a look at AGEs contained in different foods. We have fats, which are pretty high. These are vegetable fats. And we have fruits that are low. Sugar, zero. Corn syrup, zero. Cheese, really high in the Parmesan. Bacon, 91,000, stay away from that. So it's the complete opposite of what the media, of what um, advertising, all tells you in terms of uh, carbohydrates. They're so demonized and pretty much everything that you hear about carbohydrates, making us fat, making us age, causing inflammation, it's all the opposite. It's incredible how much misinformation we have been fed 
from faulty nutrition, nutritional science. So that's about it for this video. Definitely take a look into these biochemical processes yourself. Uh, you know, it doesn't get any simpler than that. Uh, everything starts with glucose. Glucose yeah. is a simple sugar right. that is derived from, from carbohydrates. I think the, the problem is, is that most people think that carbohydrates are your donuts, your pizza, your ice cream, when these foods are actually high in fat. If you look at their calorie content in terms of macronutrient ratios, they're about 50% or higher of calories coming from fat. And that's what is causing the inflammation. That's what's causing the AGEs, the advanced aging. That's what's causing the, the problems, the immune problems, etc. When you have sufficient carbohydrate calories in your diet coming from low fat sources, fruits, starches, sugar, refined sugar, I'll keep repeating that, refined sugar is not bad for your body. It supplies the glucose needed to run the major antioxidant system in the body, which reduces inflammation, which slows down the aging process that fuels the system to be able to get leaner, fitter, healthier. You need to eat sufficient carbohydrates every single day from your favorite sources. Okay, I gotta go. My kids obviously are needing me. But if you have any questions about this topic, check out or leave a, leave a question or a comment in the description box. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.